S DAC or attending care. Let me take this off. Maybe you can hear me a little better. S DAC or attending care, self directed care or attending care services. Now, which one is the best? I'm going to need you to stay on here with me till the very end. And I got you, Mr. KC, will walk you right through everything. But listen, if this is your first time here with me, my name is Kion Church. What do I do? I help family. I help financially challenged family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Everybody always likes to think that uh, SDAC or self-directed care is better. Well, if you are the member, if you are the Medicaid member in long-term health care and you're sick, you're kind of down, you're, you're feeling bad, you need some help, why would you want another job? SDAC or self-directed care is like a job because they want you, the member, to organize everything. They want you to organize the workers. They want you to organize uh, the payroll. They want you to organize everything. You got too much going on on your hands. Leave the heavy lifting to someone who knows how to do it. Now, listen, what you got to do is you got to ask for attending care services and ask for reliably. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you another secret. If you do attending care, the relative that's currently taking care of you may be eligible for a paid care to be a paid caregiver under the Delaware Long Term Health Care Plan. Boom. Just like I was telling you. Now, listen, I know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home only to be taken care of by strangers because the family members didn't have the time, money or the resources that it takes to be able to take care of their relative at home. Now, listen. Everybody needs to be able to make a living and providing care can be very time consuming, making a decent paying job just out of reach for most voluntary now, family caregivers. What if I was to tell you that it was possible for you to get paid for doing the work that you're already doing, caring for your loved ones with attending care, attending care. These are the right words. We got to learn the words because if you go to the case manager and you ask for the wrong thing or you don't know what to ask for, they'll give you anything. You want attending care. Now, look, my name is Kion Church, and I'm the founder and the administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. Now, what Reliable Aid, Inc. does is we're a personal assistance service agency that compensates family members who have had to leave their personal lives in order to move back home and take care of their aging parents or loved ones. And yes, in many, health, in many cases, help them get paid at the exact same time. So listen, what I'm going to talk to you today is the missing puzzle piece that will allow for you to get paid under attending care for doing what you're already doing. All right. Now, you may be eligible to be paid as a direct care worker for helping your loved ones with their activities of daily living. That's the stuff that we do every day. And it's more commonly uh, called the tasks of self-care that are performed by your loved one, either independently, with supervision or with assistance. Uh, now, I know what you're probably thinking. Casey, if any of this applied to me, I'd already heard about it. But look, the problem is that many people believe that these caregivers need specific trainings or certifications in order to do their job, and they exclude themselves before they can even get started. Now listen, nothing could be further from the truth. What Reliable Aid Inc. does, one more time, we do attending care. Attendant care. That's where we provide the attendants, we provide the direct care workers. Everybody that comes through to your house, they'll already be two-part TB tested. They'll have physicals. They'll have drug screens. They'll have SBI background checks. They'll be done all that. If you were to choose SDAC or self-directed care, you got to find a person that has two TB shots. I don't know if you got time for that. You got to make sure the person that's coming to your house has a physical. I don't know if you got time for that. They're going to make you drug screen these people because that's what the state does. You know, I don't know if you have time for that. Share how you doing today. Uh, what they're also going to make you do is get everybody a SBI State Bureau of Investigations background check. Now, if you like my father or you like many of the other people who actually need this service, I don't know if you got time for all that. I don't know if you got time to... Uh, be clocking the direct care workers into your home. I don't know if you have time to make sure they got paid. I don't know if you, listen, if you like the people that I personally take care of, you need help with you. You know what I mean? If you need help with you, call Reliable Aid. We do the best attending care in the business. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Now listen, check us out. We all over the web. If you're here with me now, hashtag your city, hashtag your state, hashtag your country. We big-hearted caregivers all over the world. All right? Number one. Number two, I promised Miss Ludia that I will be giving out some of these masks. You know what I mean? If you want one, just, you know, say something in the comments, and uh, 
you know, we'll get back to you. I promised her we was going to start giving them out to all the big hearted caregivers across the world that's watching it. So if you got to ask, see, listen, I deal with some people that don't even have addresses like that's how far our reach is. So if you're a person who has an address or you know somebody with an address, you know, and I'm, and I'm, I'm speaking to the people outside the country because a lot of people inside the United States got an address. But if you don't have an address, you know, find somebody with you an address and, uh, you know, I'm going to mail you one of these uh, these caregiver face masks to help you keep protected out there while you're in the, in the muck outside, all right? So, look, I love you, man. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that what you're doing is a bad thing. You know, we do this to get our blessings, you know? The people that don't care about their parents, I don't know what's going to happen to them in the end. They're going to need some help. You know what I mean? But right now, I'm taking care of mine. You taking care of yours. I love you. Continue on. Do your thing. Talk to you later. Thanks.